afternoon. We're in Lebanon, Tennessee, at the very beginning of the Lebanon Fair. My name is John Morgan. It's about 101 degrees out here right now, but we're going to do this anyway. These are some tractors and some toys that my father built. Uh, passed them down to us when he passed away. This particular one here has a Fairmount Railroad engine in it. It was one of the first things that he built. Stretched the Cub Cadet frame, put this railroad engine in it, and we just like to show it off along with a lot of the other stuff that we have. Yes, this was on a Pullman car, just like this. It was a, a what this engine did was it replaced the hand cars going up and down the rail tracks for the workers. And they put this two cycle engine in there with big flywheel so that they could start it in either direction. They wouldn't have to go out and pick up the hand cars, turn them around, put them back down on the tracks. This would go in either direction. They did it and found out they could pull a couple of trailers with some timber on it and some rail stuff so they could do their working on the railroad. There's a lot of these still in service at this time. This one runs just fine. We get a lot of people turning their heads and looking at it. The dump truck you're looking at right now is the last thing my father built before he passed away. It's built completely from scratch. My father left school at seventh grade and never had any more education, but he completely fabricated this out of his mind. It's built from the ground up by hand by him. It's a three-cylinder Kubota diesel. It dumps forward and reverse. Got everything you need for a dump truck, even the horn works. Here's a couple more pieces of junk that we've got. These are Panzers. They were built in the late 50s, early 60s. One of the selling points on these tractors was they had between 100 to 150 fewer parts than anything else. The reason being, they took Mopar rear ends and put in them so the rear end would never go out of them. They're friction driven with one belt and a rubber disc to back them up. And right now to find a few of them, they're really getting scarce because the drag racing boys want to use that heavy duty rear end with big uh, motorcycle engines. And to get a hold of these now, they're, they're beginning to get more expensive. This little mower right here is a GE Electrotech. It had the same amount of batteries in it as a golf cart, had a regular deck on it, had a place to plug in hand utensils so that you could do all of your gardening and, and trimming using electric power rather than gas. This was built in the 50s also, late 50s. General Electric built this, patented it, got it up and running, and then decided to sell it off. That was their plans all the way. Wheel horse bought them out. And they took, there, there's very few there because there are still communities, particularly in Canada and the Northeastern United States that will only let you use electric mowers in their private type subdivisions. They don't want to use anything against the environment. They want to use electric because it's quiet and it's clean. These were made in the late fifties again. This is one of the smaller ones. They all, this is an eight horsepower. They go all the way up to a 12 horsepower and it's all done on batteries. 